Okay guys, something you may have noticed over the last month or so has been an exciting new shoe release from FootJoy. Uh, these are Hyperflex, where as you can see, they certainly catch the eye. Um, what I think we're seeing here from FootJoy is their first real move into that, um, into the sort of trainer golf shoe market where you know we're, we're used to seeing um, shoes from people like Adidas and, and, and Puma, which have got that real trainery feel. And this is definitely a move in that direction from FootJoy. FootJoy, we, you know, associate more with more traditional sort of like golf shoes. You know, they've got a fantastic reputation for, you know, for comfort and stability and performance. Um, and although with last year with DNA, we, 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 def we probably saw something a little bit edgier from, um, you know, from FootJoy, you know, real cutting edge technology. But still, they were quite a a clean and smart look about the DNAs, whereas this, like I say, is really a, a move in a, in, a, in a slightly different direction. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the shoe, you've got this uh, fine-tuned foam um, sort of sole, which is, gives it that sort of like soft and sort of like bouncy feel when you've got them on. As you can see from the design here, this is this is you know really quite cool. This sort of grid on the front, which is actually taking inspiration from um, from a bridge in Boston. Um, again, this is something that's not completely new from FootJoy. We've seen with their apparel that their their designers often take inspiration from cities and uh, you know things that they see you know around the buildings and and, and and things like that. The very first time we actually saw anything about Hyperflex was during the 2014 Ryder Cup, where Hunter Mayhan was actually you know sort of trialing these out and um, you know it caused quite a bit of a stir because everyone you know knew that Hunter Mayhem was a foot dry ambassador but they could see he was wearing these you know kind of you know quite strange uh, you know very different looking shoes and you know we eventually learned that this this is what it was that, that he was wearing and like I said, it's, it's, it's not something to expect from foot joint. Something that's a little bit different on Hyperflex. You've actually got the FJ quite prominent there on the side. And, I, you know, I think that if you saw that, uh, you know, shoe in, a, you know, in, a, in your pro shop and you didn't have that FJ there, you, you know, you wouldn't think that that was a, well, that was a foot joint product. So I think that, you know, that, that that was one of the reasons why the brand were keen to, you know, to, to kind of, you know, emphasize the, you know, the, the foot joint logo on there. So... Yeah, you know, my overall reaction is that these are a, a really, you know, strong product in that sort of trainer golf shoe market. You know, you've, you've really got the, you've got that light feel that you'd, you'd expect from a more trainer type shoe. But what FootJoy said is that, you know, you get some shoes on the market that are just too light and it's not actually possible to get all the sort of control performance and, you know, stability benefits from a golf shoe that, that, that's actually too light. You know, if you start taking too much away, you're taking some of the way from, 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 from the performance. So I wouldn't say that this is like, you know, by any means like the lightest golf shoe on the market, but it is, you know, it's definitely got all those performance benefits that you'd want from, from you know, from a golf shoe and from a trainer as well. Not everyone's going to want to go for this particular colour. Um, there are, you know, um, more sort of toned down, you know, versions available. I personally really like this one. I think it looks really cool. I think it's going to, you know, sort of liven up whatever, you know, sort of golf outfit you're wearing. So if you're a uh, if you're one of the, you know one of the sort of golfers that you know leans more towards the, the the trainer type golf shoe, then I would definitely recommend giving FootJoy Hyperflex a try.